Hi dolphins. Welcome back to another art lesson. Uh, I hope you had fun drawing last week's houses with me. Uh, if you want to share your picture with me, you can send it to me via email and I will uh, link my email address in uh, the description box below. So you can send me your uh, pictures of your beautiful drawings from last week and uh, for this week too. Uh, all right, so for today's art project, we'll be making a drawing uh, for springtime and for Earth Day. Earth Day is April 22nd, uh, so these pictures will be perfect to celebrate uh, nature and the environment, uh, and I hope you're ready to follow along. For kinder, first and second grade, uh, we'll be creating a cute sunflower drawing. And for third, fourth, and fifth grade, we'll be making a bouquet of spring flowers. Okay, I hope you have your uh, materials ready. All you need is a pencil and a piece of paper. All right, let's get started. Okay, kinder, first, and second graders, before we start our drawing for today, we're going to read this book called Blue and Other Colors with Henri Matisse. And this is a book uh, about an artist who uses lots of different colors in his paintings and his artwork. Um, and a lot of his pictures look like plants or, or flowers. So I thought it would be perfect to read today before we start our sunflower drawing. Okay, here we go. Blue. More blue. Blue and so many other colors. Blue again. Ooh, blue and green. Green in the back green in the front, green and blue again, and hey, what's that other color? It looks like purple. Purple and blue, and there's a splash of pink too. Now, just blue. Blue and yellow, yellow. Blue and yellow and look, orange dots too, orange. Orange and purple look so nice together. And here's blue again, all fancy. Hey, look, it's blue and red, bright red. Here's red with some green and now some dark purple mixed in. Red and green and blue and orange and yellow and oh, blue. Green, pink, yellow, orange, red, purple, and blue. Beautiful blue. And this page tells us a little bit more about the artist. Uh, and these were all uh, paintings uh, from the artist Henri Matisse, and he was a French artist. Um, and he used a lot of bright colors and fun shapes. All right, the end. So for our cute sunflower, uh, we are going to start with a circle. And uh, an easy way to draw a circle 
is by drawing a rainbow shape first. So a curved line like a rainbow. And then we're going to add a U shape underneath it. And it makes a circle shape. So your circle does not have to be perfect. Um, just do your best and nothing less. Okay, uh, we're gonna draw the petals of the sunflower and the petals are gonna go all the way around the circle and we're gonna start with a curved line like that, a nice long curved line. And then I'm gonna do a curved line on the other side. So this is kind of like uh, an almond shape or it looks almost like an eye or like a football. Okay, I'm gonna do that all the way around my sunflower. Curve and another curve. Curve and another curve. If you wanna draw your sunflower petals a different way, that's totally fine. So I finished drawing all my petals around the flower. And uh, you might notice that there's some little spaces in between. That's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if you're in first or second grade, you might remember that we drew a flower in class together. And you might remember that you can go in and add some more petals like this, and it makes it look like those petals are overlapping, and this can fill in some of those spaces. So I'm just drawing like a triangle shape or a V shape. I'm kind of curving it to match the curve of the petals. So if you wanna do that, to your sunflower, you can do that too to fill in those spaces. Okay, so I finished my petals all around my sunflower and next I'm gonna add the stem of the sunflower and that's what connects the flower to the ground. So I'm going to use a straight line going down to the edge of my paper, and then I'm going to draw another straight line right next to it to make it match, okay? Those lines, when they're going side by side, those are called parallel lines, and parallel lines never run into each other. They always go the same direction and they're like twins. Okay, next I'm gonna add some leaves to my stem. So I'm gonna draw the same shape that I did for the petals. So I'm doing a curved line and then I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger like that. And if you want, you can draw some details in the middle like that to make it look more like a leaf, or you can just leave it plain. Okay, if you want, you can add another leaf on the other side of your stem. You can add that detail in the middle, or you can leave it off, your choice. All right. Um, we have our middle of the sunflower, we have the petals, we have the stem, and we have the leaves. You can leave your sunflower just like this and start coloring, or you can add a cute little smiley face in the middle. I'll show you how. All right, we're gonna start with two circles for the eyes. These are gonna be medium or smaller circles. And then we can draw a little circle inside the circle at the top. Then with your pencil, 
or with whatever you're drawing with, you can color in the extra space and it makes it look like there's a shiny spot on the eye. Okay, uh, you can do any type of face that you want. If yours looks different than mine, that's okay. All right, I'm gonna do uh, just a little triangle for the nose. And then I'm gonna do a smiley face like this. A big curve shape, a big curve line. And then I'm gonna add a little curve and a little curve on the edges. Okay, and I'm finished drawing my sunflower. If you want to add extra details in the background. All right, so next I'm going to color. Okay, I have finished coloring my sunflower and uh, you can see that I chose yellow, orange, green, and purple. Uh, and you can copy those colors or you can choose your own way to color your sunflower. Um, I also didn't color all the petals, but if you want to color those petals in the background, go for it. Uh, I would love to see your finished sunflower drawings, so please email them uh, to me if you'd like to share those. My email will be in the description box below. All right, dolphins, you did great today, and I can't wait to do another drawing with you next week. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. Have a great week. Bye, guys.